All right, for the final video in this series, let's see how to deploy a SwellKit application. For this demo, I will be using GitHub and Vercel. Step one, ensure your code is pushed to GitHub. As you can see, I already have a repo created, which is the same repo I've used for this entire series, SwellKit-Tutorials. We have a couple of applications here, so let's deploy one of them. Step two, head over to Vercel.com and sign up if you're new to Vercel. I am already signed in with GitHub. Now the UI might slightly differ if you're new to Vercel, but the idea remains the same. Begin by adding a new project. On the next page, we need to import a Git repository. If you're doing this for the first time, you'll need to install Vercel when prompted and select the GitHub account. I'm going to select my GitHub account, which is already linked. Our code is in the SwellKit tutorials repo, which I'm going to import. Next, we configure our Vercel project. The project name can be left as it is. For framework preset, select SwellKit. For the root directory, let's edit and select the form actions project which we've been working with for the past few videos. Now for the commands. Override build command to be npm run build. Override the output folder to be dot swelt hyphen kit. The install command is npm install, which is fine. Finally, we need to add the environment variables. Nice thing about Vercel is we can simply copy paste our environment variable file contents and all the key value pairs are automatically added. Control A, Control C, Control V. Now we can click on deploy. This will take a minute to build and deploy your application. Now we have run into an error as a project in the repository also has a public analytics key environment variable. So configure the project again and add the key value pair. Click on deploy and our deployment was successful. We should now have a preview of the app. And when I click on this, we have our application hosted at a Vercel URL. Navigate to slash news, and we should be redirected to login. We are able to see the list of news articles. Our application works as expected. Now, if you have a custom domain, you can of course point this app to that domain. But as far as a simple build and deploy with GitHub and Vercel is concerned, this is all you have to do. Well, with that, we come to the end of the series on SwellKit. We have learned how to configure page routes, API endpoints, load page and layout data, about link options and page options, about form actions, and finally, a few miscellaneous topics. I hope you have a much better understanding of the concepts now than you did before starting the series. If you have enjoyed the series and found it helpful, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel as it helps out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Share this playlist with your friends or teammates and hopefully they start using this amazing framework as well. As always, thank you for watching and until next time, take care.